It feels good to tell people what to do. Now, I, I, I believe that a lot of the people who are the self-appointed enforcers of uh, what we are and are not uh, allowed to say, they think they're, they're motivated by uh, virtue. They do. I, I, um, but I think the thrill of it isn't the thrill of doing good. I think the thrill of it is um, authoritarian, that you're pushing other people around, you're punishing them when they get out of line. It's, it's all about power. And do you think a narcissism plays a certain aspect of it? That's, for instance, with the Roger Scruton affair, when George Eaton uh, got, essentially helped to get Ro uh, Roger Scruton fired, he put a post on t uh, Instagram with himself swigging a bottle of champagne saying that, oh, I'm quoting, I'm mis probably quoting, but essentially he said that feeling you get when you get a racist sect. Yeah, well, I mean, that's a good example. He'd bagged a trophy. This is, it's, this is actually a predatory sport. Um, and getting people sacked it, it is now um, one of the things that you do on social media. And, and even now, because that was the new statesman, in mainstream media, I thought that was especially unseemly. Um, I, it, 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 did, it, it surprised me that that happened at the new statesman. It's interesting you say and what Francis says because I know that I play computer games sometimes and th that feeling wh where you have the ability to type something into your own little computer and a human being on the other end of that communication does something different or something happens. You know, you get even on uh, this platform Twitch, which is where you watch other people play computer games. People <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm very sad. Um, Do you really do that? I said there's a platform that exists. How I know about That's it yes. is undisclosed. <laughs> um, I guess that means that, that for the, that audience, the paint has already dried. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and so uh, one of the things that happens, and you, you're not going to believe this, is they find out where that person lives who is streaming this game themselves, mm -hmm. and they uh, get a SWAT team. They, they complain about them saying there's some kind of terrorist activity happening at that address, and they get a SWAT team to come in and knock the door down and arrest them or take them into custody while it's happening. There is that level of, oh, if I do this here, then that thing happens over there. Mm -hmm. And do you think that that is what's happening with these Twitch, uh, Twitch fork mobs, the Twitter mobs, where essentially it's, it's about power. It's about... It's totally about power, and the exercise of power. And w one thing that's been interesting in um, the young adult fiction area, which has gone particularly nuts, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand why, um, but uh, a number of the, the, the writers on some of these platforms who have been the most vociferous, the most censorious, uh, the, the most predatory, uh, have also been converted to prey when they publish their own work. Um, and, and uh, you know, they've got a character who uh, is gay and they're not gay or something like that. And, um, and uh, then they end up suffering from the, the, the same uh, mass attack that they had been organizing against other people. There's a certain rough justice in that. Mm. There are some people, particularly people who, who are against that kind of ideology, who rub their hands in glee at this and go, well, look, the left is eating itself and whatever. And, and I, that worries me because I think, in a way, we're all eating ourselves when that happens. Do you know what I mean? I don't think it's healthy um, when, well, I don't think it's healthy when that happens to anyone. No, it isn't. I mean, I say that, that there is some rough justice in that, mm. but it, we, it would be better if we were not living in a world that this was happening at all. Mm. Um, and I'm concerned that this whole um, pylon mentality uh, is infecting major institutions. Uh, it's possible I'll write my column about this this coming weekend, but uh, the best example I can think of is what happened this week at Harvard, where uh, one of the professors at the law school, very distinguished, 
um, I think he's a dean, uh, was part of the team who uh, represented Harvey Weinstein. And um, the students got up in arms. And the administration backed down and, and sacked him. And this is completely contrary to the principles of, of, of law. I mean, this should have been a, a, a what do they call it, a teaching moment. Um, <laughs> it's like, sorry, but uh, no matter how uh, perfidious uh, a character may be, uh, everyone is deserving of legal representation. And um, just because you represent someone uh, legally, that doesn't, you know, what they did is not supposed to rub, rub off on you. You know, th there's a, just because you represent someone, you're not responsible for what they did or didn't do. That's the way the legal system works. And yet, um, just a bunch of students saying they were uncomfortable uh, and felt unsafe and um, just all this nonsense, all this utterly in insincere crap. And we could get to that in a mo moment. Um, Harvard caved. Harvard. Harvard. So the worry is not so much social media. You know, if it's contained to Twitter, et cetera, it's painful, it's gross, it's impolite, um, and it's cutthroat, but the implications are limited. They are no longer limited. We're, we are now in a mob rule universe, and across the board, uh, mainstream institutions are caving to the pressure of the crowd. And and throwing principle out the window.